In this lesson, we're going to go into After Effects and begin our animation. So the first thing you have to do is double click here on the project and find your Illustrator file. So just click on that one. This window is going to appear telling you you want to import as a footage, as a merge ledger, which is just a flat image. That's not something that you want for now, maybe in another project. Choose a layer in case you only want to bring one or composition. So let's go composition and let's go document size. So really layer size. So we have individual sizes. Now, by default, you are this infographic composition is created, but I don't, you could edit it here, but I'm not going to be using it. So you could safely del delete it and create your own compositions because that's more effective because not all the elements are going to be. So I'm going to delete this one and create one that is going to be called scene number one. And again, my size is custom 800 by 800. My frame rate, I, I'm going to leave it by for Terry, but you could also decrease it. 24 is more cinematic and you could even go lower like 15. Yeah, as long as your animation doesn't look chopped, that's fine. So one thing that I like to do is give the duration big duration. So I kind of multiply that number for 10. So just 240 and you can leave the background black for now. So just press OK. And now I'm going to add the elements that I need for this scene number one. So for this one, I need that person. I need some text that I need to type. So I'm going to go to my text to type tool and I'm going to begin typing one in seven people. And then I'm going to go here into my paragraph and have my text aligned to the center. And if you don't see any of these windows, just go to window and find the one that I'm talking about. So here window paragraph, make sure the text is aligned, make sure that this is aligning to the composition and aligning to the center. And I'm going to increase the size of my font to around 180. And this is already the Como font that we got from Typekit. Now that's OK. Now I'm going to go to my type tool again and type the next line. So this one is going to be are still living in poverty or in actually extreme poverty. Now I'm going to decrease the size and align it to the center of my comp. And now I just want to make it slightly bigger so it matches the one in seven people. So there you go. Now, the other thing that we're going to have in this scene is the little person that we had in Illustrator. So I'm just going to go and find it and drag it and drop it. And what I want to do is go right click and find create shapes from vector layer. So it's right there. Now I get two layers, one that the visibility is hidden. So I need to delete that. That's the Illustrator layer because now I have this one with all the shapes in there. So you can see here on the group one and group two, you get the head and the body. So that's okay for now. Now let's double click on this one to rename this to person. So it doesn't have that really long and complicated name. Next thing we're going to add is a background. So to do that, I'm going to create a solid. So I'm just going to go here to layer, new solid. And let's go and pick that purple that we were using in Illustrator. So just press OK. It's this number. And now it's going to be all the way on the top. So just drag it and drop it on the bottom. Now I don't want to accidentally mess with it or touch it. So I'm just going to lock it. But first I'm going to name this one purple. So now that I lock it, I'm just going to go onto the this little lock. So now I don't I cannot move it or edit it in any way. And now it's time to animate in our text. So I'm gonna to go to my rectangle tool and create a rectangle that covers the whole text. The color really doesn't matter because this is going only to be a mask. So I'm just going to rename this one mask. 
and I'm gonna do the same with the one on the bottom but make sure that they are not on the same mask so I'm just going to undo this click again to make a new shape layer make it there and let's rename this one mask 2 now let's go here to this one in seven people we can remove the visibility of the masks that's okay I'm gonna go to window effects and presets and here I'm gonna type set and I'm going to go and find here on channels the set mate I'm just gonna drag it and drop it to this one in seven people and now here for the take mat from I'm going to first show you how the position works so I'm gonna go here on the first frame add a keyframe then go to around 24 which is a second and another keyframe and now I'm just gonna drag them to the bottom so now if I preview my animation you're gonna see by pressing my spacebar you're gonna see that the animation it's moving good but it's not really what I want so I'm gonna go here on my set mate that masks number one and you're gonna see how the text is appearing like that so just the one in seven people is appearing from mask number one now I'm just gonna copy by pressing ctrl C and paste that onto the second line of text and change the, ma the take mate from to layer number two so masks two so now you can see how they are entering now the animation is kind of boring so what I need to do is go right click and then go keyframe assistant and go easy ease or you could use the shortcut f9 now if i preview the animation you can see that this is a little bit better because now the velocity is not constant you have it's getting a little bit of speed and then it's losing it so that's what we want but we want to exaggerate this motion so i'm going to select these two keyframes and drag the handles to the middle you're going to see how now the animation is a little bit better because the change of speed is really something that you notice so I'm going to go from a purple background to have to appear this text and now I don't want them to be on the same actually I'm gonna make them a little bit faster first but I actually want the second line of text to appear after so I'm just gonna move it a couple of frames so now first appears seven in one people so one in seven people and then the second line of text which is exactly what we want so now I can just select this mask and here click here on my shy button and on the ones of the mask as well also on the background because we don't need them so we have a cleaner work area so in the next lesson we're gonna work on our shapes for our person